Welcome to the Command Saw iLogic Vessel tutorial. This tutorial will take you through the steps required in developing an iLogic Vessel in Inventor 2011. Once complete, the files created can be used in production and modified as required by your company. It is broken into six phases. Part parameter configuration, assembly parameter configuration, head component development, shell component development, skirt component development, and finally, vessel assembly development. You will need Inventor 2010 with the iLogic add-in installed, which is available from Autodesk if you're on subscription, or Inventor 2011. It will take about 90 minutes to complete and requires a basic understanding of Inventor. Although not necessary, this tutorial will use templates as a basis for the vessel files. This will minimize the number of parameters we will need to fill out. Creating the templates will be a simple matter of copying Inventor's templates and renaming them. Open Inventor's template folder, which by default is Program Files Autodesk Inventor 2011 Templates. Um, I store mine on my network, so it's in a different location. But we want to create a new folder called Vessels and then copy the standard IPT and standard.iam files into the vessel folder and rename them to vessel.ipt and vessel.iam. Open the vessel.ipt file, click manage on the ribbon and select parameters. The first parameter we will add is the head type. So click add text, enter type as the parameter name, and we will make it a multi-value parameter. Here's where we enter our seven head types that we want to be able to use. The first one is conical, followed by diffuser, ellipsoidal, flat, hemispherical, torospherical 0 0.1, and torospherical 0.8. Once you have them all entered in, click Add. We're not going to allow custom values because we're going to limit the head type based on what we have entered here. So click OK. And you can see here we've got our seven head types in our list. We will be using this in our selection criteria, so we want it to be a key. And for the comment, we will enter vessel head type. Always hit enter after entering a comment, or you'll have to enter it again. Now we'll enter our numeric values. So click Add Numeric. The first one will be our outside diameter. Make it a default value of 24. Um, it will be included in our selection criteria. I like to export my variables just in case I need to use them in other files. And we'll call this Vessel Outside Diameter. Now we will add our thickness. A default value of half an inch. Um, set it to be a key. <clears throat> and enter vessel shell thickness. Those are our common uh, parameters that we will we'll be using in all our parts. So we'll click Done and Save. Now let's open our assembly template file. Uh, 
which is in your inventor template folder. In the vessels folder and we'll open vessel.iam. Again, once the file is open, click Manage and Parameters. And we'll go through this again. Type Make Multi Value Parameter Conical Diffuser. Ellipsoidal flat hemispherical torospherical zero point one and torospherical zero point eight. Again, it will be a key and vessel head type. Now we will add our numeric values. OD, 24, it will be a key. Vessel outside diameter add the thickness uh, default zero point five vessel shell thickness. Um, Add length, which will be in feet. We'll default it to three. Vessel seam to seam length. Uh, the skirt offset with the vessel. SB OFS may default six inches. That won't be a key. Add the skirt length. I'll make that feet. Um, 2.5 and that should do it for the vessel assembly so click done and save We're now ready to begin setting up our individual components.